it can be easy to look around at our society and get discouraged, to daydream about the future and see little hope for the young, to see the enormous gap between truth and darkness and wonder if there's any path forward. Maybe you've asked, what part can I play in setting up the next generation for success? I'd love to make a difference, but I'm too, too uneducated, too introverted, too shy, too busy, too damaged, too past my prime, or too not who God uses. A man named Abraham had similar thoughts. He believed he was too old, too ill-equipped, and too faithless to be used by God. He thought the world around him was dark, and he'd have nothing to do with illuminating it. But God told Abraham when he was 99 years old that he had big plans for him. He said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. He's reminding Abe who's in charge. He's the powerful creator of the cosmos. God was saying, stick with me, lean on me, focus on me, and together we'll change the world. God used Abraham when Abraham thought he was all used up. And not because of his leadership prowess, his non-existent bachelor's degree, or his social media influence. God used Abraham because of his faithfulness. Perhaps God's message for Abraham still applies to us. Maybe God is calling us, as he did to Abraham, to be faithful. Faithfulness is remaining locked into God's heart, obedient to his word, remaining steadfast to his mission, and letting nothing stop you. And do you know what faithfulness does? Faithfulness encourages the powerless. It inspires the broken and it motivates the stranded. Faithfulness gives moral authority, magnifies your influence, and it paves the way so that the next generation can rise up above us. Listen to a few stories from our faith-filled future. I was lost because I had nowhere to go and I tried any solution with any thing in life that was struggles and I had to try to get through everything on my own like without turning to anyone because I thought I could just get through it on my own it'll be fine to grow up older and stuff I'll be completely fine it wasn't true at all and then I finally was just like I'm backed up and I can't do anything and I didn't know how to get out of it then God turned me towards the light with my back against the wall and he helped me guide me through everything. And now I almost feel like I'm living without a stress in the world almost because I know who I can turn to. And he just showed me like, I can rely on him for anything I, I need. And I don't have to go through anything on my own. And now I'm living life basically stress-free without anything to worry about at all. I, cause I personally know now that there's always one person I can turn to in life and that is God. And there is no one else like him. When I was just a baby, I was baptized. I grew up every Sunday going to church and being present with the Lord. Then one day, I don't know why, but we just stopped. I forgot what it was like to be present with the Lord and have him in my life, and I lost my faith. In February 2021, I fell into such a deep depression, and if it weren't for my sister, I would have taken my life. At CCV teen camp, I could once again feel the Lord for the first time in months, and when I reaccepted him into my life, I felt this huge weight lifted off my shoulders and burst into tears in my friend's arms. Ever since then, I've been able to see the presence of the Lord everywhere and see the beauty of his creations anywhere I go. I want to thank CCB for getting me reacquainted with the Lord and being able to feel him again. About a year ago, I was in the toughest part of my life. I didn't know who to talk to or to turn to. And after the loss of loved ones and the separation of me and my family, I just lost hope. I felt like I had no purpose in life anymore. But after a long conversation with God and a genuine conversation with the Father, He provided a way. He was delight when I was lost in the dark. 
He provided me with a loving family. He provided me with caring friends that I can cherish forever. But most importantly, he provided me with a gift that was always there, and that's the gift of salvation. When comes salvation, comes God's good work. And God's good work is followed by a fulfilled life. And that's all I care about. So I just want to lift up God and just say, he is good. We believe in what King David said to God. Generation after generation stands in awe of your work. Each one tells stories of your mighty acts. We believe God is deploying divine storytellers. He's preparing spiritual warriors. He's growing kingdom builders and releasing change agents into the world. Around here, we don't see a future that's bleak and hopeless. We don't believe the next generation is misguided, aimless, and lost. In fact, when we look at the next generation, we don't limit them to the influence of tomorrow. They're serving our church, shaping our culture, and leading our communities today, right here, right now. 8,300 summer camp attendees, kids, students, special needs, all on fire for Jesus. 759 baptisms proclaiming the love of Christ. Young athletes all around the valley who know that sports are about far more than a game. Volunteers and coaches who speak life into others everywhere they go. Are you listening? God is proclaiming his love for the world through those coming of age. He's building an army and picking up steam. There's a symphony of voices all singing to the risen king. Are you listening? This next generation is guiding others to God and doing so with passion. Heaven's getting louder because they're bringing heaven here. God is using these programs, these camps, their bold invitations, their sacrificial serving and these difference makers to share the good news and shape a better way like we could have never imagined. Heaven's getting louder. We believe in these young leaders. We believe they're capable, we believe in their potential, and we're doing all we can to point their hearts to Jesus and get out of the way so God can do his work. CCV, we want in on what God is up to. We don't want the cheap seats. We won't even settle for the front row. We want in on the action. God is in pursuit and on the move and he's making noise right now through this generation. Are you listening? Heaven is getting louder.